Welcome back to 843 TV. We're enjoying our morning here at Oldfield Club. And up next is another guest, Joe Dieterle. And you came to Oldfield when you came to visit a friend, which caused quite a change of plans for you. So yeah. share with us that I was, story. I was already retired in a little quaint town on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake called Oxford. And our daughter had a uh, high school uh, roommate mm -hmm. and classmate who, whose parents lived here, and we knew them also. So we had heard about it. Our daughter actually visited before we did and said, you have to see this. I said, no, no, I'm retired and I'm, <laughs> I'm done. And, but we did. We came and we visited and a real estate fellow spent three hours with us and my wife and I were, were taken, obviously. It took us some time to make that decision, but uh, the, the, the impetus was really produced by the people here. Uh, fishing's great, hunting's great, boating's great, golfing's great but it's the people. We couldn't come here on any occasion, which we did frequently before we bought uh, our lot, and, uh, and stand at the bar at the Magnolia Grill by yourself without somebody coming up and talking with you. I've never saw a community so warm and open as Oldfield. That's fantastic, yeah. I love hearing that. Um, so people obviously were a main <coughs> ingredient, the primary ingredient, but you also mentioned hunting, fishing, uh, boating. Tell us a little bit about your experience getting involved with that in the community. Well, even before the, we moved here, we would go out with Jason on boats. We'd hire the boat and go up and down the river. Uh, actually, my wife and I went shooting one time with him probably almost 10 years ago. And not to interrupt, but Jason is? Uh, Jason DeBose. Okay. He's the, uh, okay. the, 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 the principal water pro and hunting person here at the, at the Outfitter offer. Center. Okay. And yes. And he sets up, like, I'm going quail hunting on Saturday with four people. He set up four quail hunts uh, this, uh, this winter. And, uh, but anyway, we, we would participate in those things before we even got here. So I said, you know, that's really my kind of place. I've lived on two golf courses, and I don't think I've ever played 18 holes. <laughs> and so I don't mind living on this golf course. It's beautiful. I mean, that's really, really like, you know. And I can, uh, I can shout things to the golfers behind my house, <laughs> upset them. <laughs> but, you know, the other thing, I love you mentioning somebody like Jason. I mean, I don't know too many communities that offer an individual who can take you by the hand because you know here you are an avid fisherman hunter boating individual coming down from one environment into another right, right. and here you have someone who's already an expert so you don't experience that frustration of what are the rules I mean because South Carolina man I mean right. yeah, our conservancy right. efforts make you know that licensing process all of that it's got to be great to have somebody like that to sort of take you by the hand. I, I came from the little town of Oxford as I said and that's a water community Goose and duck hunting, so I was, I was, it was wonderful. But when you came here, uh, it, again, it was, it was so welcoming. And of course, uh, Jason has a full contingent of folks, Jeremy and Kyle, who help him, and they're all, they're all wonderful. You know, they are, they'll take you out on the boat if you, if you want to learn this waterway. This yeah. river's not marked until you get down to, uh, I guess down to Hilton Head, and so you need to know your way around. Mm -hmm. So they take you out first. Right. When we were talking just before, you mentioned you're from the north and the fishing is totally different than here. So in fact, it's quite an educational process that you have to go through to yeah. learn about uh, this. Yes, well, it, it's different baits and, uh, and, and different rules and regs. Yep. And, uh, um, and I don't know the spots, so the I have to, have to follow Jason. <laughs> <see>. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, so we go with him. And plus, I go with good fellows and we have a good time and we laugh it up. And the same thing shooting. Uh, Jason takes us out to Turkey Hill, a wonderful facility, 17,000 acres, and wow. they have a, a, a sporting clays facility, and they do dove hunts out there. So uh, uh, once you go by yourself, or, or with Jason, you can go by yourself with a group of fellas. So we can, I can call three fellas and say, let's go out to Turkey Hill and shoot. Now, you sound perfectly able to um, catch your dinner but I would imagine there are days when uh, you come up short. Are, are there good never, <laughs> never happened. Are there, are there good dining opportunities here within Oldfield? Oh, absolutely. I th and and as, as somebody, I guess Paul already said, Tuesday night is casual Tuesday up at the Magnolia Grill. Thursday night is dinner at the, you know, sit down at the, at the Magnolia Grill. 
One Wednesday a month is men's club. One Wednesday a month is ladies club. Every Saturday, every Friday night, there's dinner here. Sometime, and then there's Sunday brunch. As I said, you could eat your when way you through Oldfield <laughs> <laughs> every day of the week. Right. So. Well, I mean, I know from my perspective, there are times when I would come home and I would say to myself, oh, I just don't feel like cooking dinner. And it sounds like there's a good alternative. Yeah. Let's just grab the family or the, food the husband excellent. or whatever and head out. Food at this yeah. really? Jason Wynn's a great chef and he's got a good support staff. While we're talking about staff, we, we have an amazing staff here. Uh, when Miss Massetti was on earlier, she was talking about the, the warmth of the community. And our staff blends right into that. I, I don't think there's a time when, it, as a member, that I haven't walked into dining when I haven't gotten a big hug from the crew. Uh, they're big huggers here. Uh, and it, it, it really is something that, until you experience it, you don't understand what, you know, we are, uh, the, as, as an administrative person now, we are a family serving families, but it, it is one big family. It's, it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And the outside events, not outside events, but the events that we do on top of uh, regular dining, the, the oyster roast that we have down on the water, the low country boils, uh, uh, we'll, we'll bring a band in every now and then and, and have an event. Uh, there's a third Saturday of every month that somebody will host at their home so that new members can go and meet oh, other other cool folks, and it's a and it's a it's a it's a potluck, uh, and everybody brings two bottles of wine, one for you, and one to share, and your own glasses, <laughs> and and a, and a dish, and it's really a neat it's really a neat event. So that's great. Well, Lots of eating opportunities. You've given us so many reasons to fall in love with the old field, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that our audience listening is looking forward to coming out and paying you all a visit. We'd love so that. thank you for joining us, and thank you for joining us for another episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Mm -hmm.